and um, <coughs> hardship deferments. Um, there are references to the health department in, in 5.2, 7.1, 7.2, and I believe 7.5. What I would like to do is amend all of that to the health department or the mayor's designee. And the reason why is because I'd like to give more flexibility for the enforcement authority. If um, the mayor decided that there was uh, another department that would that would uh, that would have the resources or make more sense to have enforce the ordinance or both. Uh, I'd like to do that. So, so you, what you have is the health department or its designee, but you want to say or the mayor's designee right. instead. Yeah, because the health department or its designee just means you know that the health department would have to designate someone. Right. right. So Within the department. It should be the mayor that is designating possibly if it's someone from a different department. That's right. Or a different department. Um, have you asked the mayor about his preference around this? I did. That's that's um that's actually yeah, that's that's where this this uh, this thought came from. I just I thought maybe just reviewing other ordinances on uh, similar ordinances. Um, I thought, you know, some had just left the discussion entirely within the mayor's office. Some had it left it for a particular department. So I spoke to the mayor and said, you know, should we just, why don't we just have just the mayor will decide? Because that way, of course, all the mayors, you know, the various agencies are of that, you know, of the mayor's branch. And he said he recommended the health department or the mayor's designee. So, uh, that's where that came from. Now, where do you see the health department or its designee line? Where's that language? Five two. Five two. Um, so, yeah, I, what I'd like to do is re and replace five one. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, right, thank you. So, what I'd like to do is replace with one motion. Replace um, health department or its designee in five point one to the health department or mayor's designee. Um, with capitalized mayor and capitalized designee, and same thing for five two the health department or mayor's designee. I don't think designee needs to be capitalized. Though. No. Okay. Then remove the capitalization of designee, please. Um, and then on, and then the health department reference in seven point one should be the, the same as well as 7.2 and 7.4 and 7.5. I think that's it. Okay, so do, let me just ask though that you, um, in these other locations you don't have the health department or their designee, so we're just changing it totally to health department or the mayor's designee. That's right. Okay. In those places where it says health department or designee, that's okay. replaced. And in those places where it just says health department, please. Okay. Is there any further discussion? Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, do do Mike or, or, or uh, Ned? Do you guys have any feedback about about the ordinance or, or anything? Anything? No, no. Uh, I wasn't at the last meeting, so I. Okay. Don't have any I don't have any. Okay. It, 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 but it doesn't raise any issues or concerns? Not at all. Okay, great. Can I just ask a question about um, 14245, which is the actual ordinance that addresses mm -hmm. this? Are we, do, are we doing something there with the mayor? This is, the, this is the issuing right. body. I think we should change the the enforcing officer to the mayor and and the mayor or his designee the mayor the, the health department or mayor's designee. Okay. Because that way, if we had if we didn't change this, that would mean if the mayor's chose a different department to enforce it, mm -hmm. it would still be the health department um, <coughs> enforcing it in this ordinance. So if you, if you could okay. come in that too, thank All you. Right. Yeah.
Is there any further discussion on this? Okay, well, then we'll move on. We do have another agenda item. It's the reconsideration of the taking of center court. That was mine, and I just wanted to um, see if the, what is it now called? Not the board? Public Works Commission. Commission. Public Works Commission had uh, a plan, and if uh, it will have a role in the reconsideration and what that's going to look like. I don't see that. They only advise me. Um, meaning the DPW has to make a decision. Decision. Does that mean but the a recommendation to the council? The recommendation's council? already been made to the council through the previous Board of Public Works as a no recommendation. No. We voted on whether to take or not to take, and we said no. We wanted to go back for reconsideration. But we haven't heard about it since then. Okay. Right? That's correct. So now you're saying, though, that you just said that we had voted the to. The board had previously voted yeah. to say no to Center Court. Correct. And that was forwarded to the City Council. Right. And the City Council rejected, rejected that. that. Correct. So then the next step is. I assume that you wanted me to start creating the plans to make it a public way. Okay. Well, this this is I think there's a, a lot of questions because I've asked um, Council President Dwight, um, and I checked with you as well, right? We did. We did. Yeah. And both said that we don't really know how to proceed if it's a matter of our rejection means yes to the taking, or if it meant that there had to be a new. Uh, some some form of reconsideration and reexamination, and a new recommendation made that the council then has to make another vote on. So I, I think the process isn't clear to anyone is what I'm trying to say as we move forward. I assume, don't go ahead. Though. Well, when I heard of the council's vote, I thought it meant that the department was instructed to come up with a plan or it's, taking. or it's taking and and determination to be a public way. I had assumed that as well, but when I did speak to uh, Councillor Dwight, he wasn't clear that that was. I, I guess this is you know we don't have a precedent for this, so we don't really necessarily know. Well, there was a challenge because it was a it was an even vote, wasn't it four four? And so was, it four, four? was that it? I don't know. Yeah, I, I was left. It it struck me that. No, it wasn't a positive vote to accept our recommendation, but it didn't look like there'd be a positive vote for the other side of the coin. And, and but it it looked like the department had to prepare a plan. It uh, might have are been you? a four I, I uh, actually uh, had the plan from the surveyor. Itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how to make it work. Maybe. Okay. If you okay. Just, you didn't have a majority, it's possible. Five no, I think there was a recusal. Or, or I, I don't have it going on. I, I'm not remembering the details well, but I do think it was it was murky in that. I think there was an outright rejection, actually. Oh, you do? Okay, then I must remember it. But anyway, the department is preparing the plan. The department is the preparing the plan. The survey work's been done. I'm just trying to figure out how to make a roadway within a parking lot. This is good information that needs to be conveyed, I guess, to the council overall. So basically, the city is moving forward to do the taking. Of that, the that was street. my understanding from that meeting. And if I misunderstood it, I'd like to be corrected on that so I'm not spending city resources and money on it. I don't, I mean, do we have to talk to the city solicitor? Well, in terms of the process here? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a legal matter. I mean, I, I think the department just wants to know if you're going in the right direction, right? I mean, because because you're using resources. Um, but you know, I mean, maybe you should appear before the council because we don't, you know, we just really take votes. We don't typically do, you know, give any sort of other advisory, you know, uh, make, you know, recommendations as a as a as a council and and 
there's no one on the council can really direct you, or, you know. Right, it, it, and originally the council actually took the petition from the citizens and forwarded it to DPW and planning board for recommendations. So you could have acted on it right then and there and stopped it back a year ago, a year and a half ago, in its process by saying, no, we're not going to ask for a recommendation, if that's how you felt. It did, what, is, what is the mayor's position on this? I don't, I haven't heard a position on the mayor. Because, I mean, I mean, normally the mayor would instruct you. We can't, you know, we don't really instruct right. you. I mean, you're looking for some guidance, but we really aren't, you know, can't instruct you. So that, that's why I asked that question. Um, I'm wondering, too, if there's a state process by which this kind of situation does or doesn't move forward. I mean, are we just flying by the seat of our pants here? Does the rejection of the recommendation necessarily mean that we do the opposite, which is, in fact, do the taking? Or is it that the residents or business owners or other interested parties, shouldn't they need to petition? petition? I mean, that They've already had the petition. And what, what came with the petition? That's mm -hmm. where their, recommenda their disrecommendation came from, right? Well, but wait, the, the, but the, the, the residents of the street didn't recommend that we disallow the street. They're all in favor of this, accepting it as a public way. That's right. That's exactly. my understanding. Right. That's, that's my point. So shouldn't they be petitioning for it to be such? They've already made the petition. Yeah, they did what they need to do so already. I mean, we have gone through all of these steps, but there's this question I think about whether the city council voting to not accept your recommendation automatically triggers the opposite action, which would be, in fact, to do the taking. And that's, I, that's I, what nobody's clear on. Right, and this certainly isn't a definitive answer, but I don't think that that can be inferred. I don't think you're doing the wrong thing. I think you're doing the right thing. Okay. But it's, I think it's tough to infer that that I'm not sure if you can just infer that, that that's that's the action that should be taken right away. But again, I'm, I'm not second guessing your action. I would just I would just think that there would be some other. I just think there are two places that we need to check in. I think we need to check in with the mayor's office because they are the people that you would be mm -hmm. responsive to. But I think probably the city solicitor needs to be asked if there is some other process by which the state expects this to unfold. So it seems like we need to put this on hold until we get answers along those lines. Mm -hmm. And who's going to ask the questions? Um, it does seem like on some level it's your boss that needs to be asked. So that would be the mayor and that would be you that would ask your boss, don't you think? I mean, I'm happy to talk the to city the city council, solicitor directly. Well, the city council made some form of decision that we're wrangling what it meant. Does the city council need to provide some direction? Well, that's that's what I was saying. Yeah. I mean, you, it, it, if so, it, it would require appearing before the city council again, because that's I mean that's it would have to be done before the full city council, because we can't. Has anyone reviewed the the, the recorded minutes for clarity? We should. No, I remember as the meeting ended that I had question at that point because I think the city council president, when he, you know, we tallied the vote, he said, and this will go back to, I remember him saying something like, this will go back to the DPW for reconsideration or something like that. So my understanding at the time was that there would be a reconsideration process or new recommendations would be made with your knowledge that we weren't going to, um, take your rec your first recommendation. We hadn't taken your first recommendation. I mean, none of this makes, I, I'm sorry that I'm not being very articulate because mm -hmm. I don't think there's clarity here, but I, I actually don't think the city council president knew what the next step was either from my recollection of what happened, which is why I put this on the agenda so that we know we have clarity around what's happening. Well, I'm happy to take on contacting the mayor and um, asking him or maybe just contacting the city solicitor to see if there's anything on the books in the state to see what we need to do next. If that it's, it's is acceptable. I, mean, I, don't know what else. I think that makes sense. I mean, we, we have a memo from um, Alan Sewall on the process itself, and it's guided by state law and by ordinance what we were supposed to do. 
and that's what we've been following all along. But, uh, but does that process include if, in fact, your recommendation is rejected by the council, what the it next doesn't, step is? It doesn't. It doesn't say that. All right, so that's, that's the question. Right. Yeah. So we need to see. And it might mean going to someone at the state level to seek more clarity. Well, I mean, it's also possible Alan Seawall has the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, I will um, proceed by speaking with those two folks. Great. Thank you. Is there any more on that subject? Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.